Hey, uh, we talked uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago with Mike Elgin's son, Kevin Elgin. Now he, he, he's, there's an example of somebody who really loves to use technology to teach people's skills, particularly kids. He's gone to work for a company called Piper, and I've seen this online. They make a computer kit, a DIY Minecraft Ooh. computer project for kids. Now, we don't have any kids on the staff, but we went, we got in our DeLorean and we went back in time and we took Karsten Bondi back to the age of 12 and gave, no, it's his son, Zach, and gave him a Piper and here's what it looked like. I'm Zach Bondi from the New Screensavers and this is the Piper Computer Kit. Piper teaches kids how to build their own computers and how to put together electronics. Piper started as a Kickstarter back in March of 2015. They were funded in less than a day and ended up making over $280,000. The first kits were shipped last December and now anyone can buy a Piper. The Piper kit includes the following. A Raspberry Pi computer, a laser cut wooden case, a screen, a mouse, a battery, and a bunch of electronic parts. The first thing you have to do with the Piper is put the computer together. You have to build the case out of wooden pieces and assemble the computer. It took my brother and me about an hour to put together the computer in the case. Once you get the computer running, you can play a series of games that teach you things about electronics and coding. The games are in a special Minecraft mod called Piper Universe. So they are really easy for kids to understand. The games tell you how to put together real life electronic equipment, which you can then use to affect things in the game. For example, one of the games teaches you how to build a treasure detector. It shows you how to connect an LED to the computer, and then the LED lights up when you get near the treasure in the game. One of my favorite things about Piper is that once you put it together, there's more than just a Minecraft mod that teaches you stuff. It's also a fully functioning computer. It comes with a web browser, word processor, Python, and more. So it's more than just a game. The one thing I thought was not so great was the price. $300 for a Raspberry Pi is a lot of money. You could get the parts to build a similar Raspberry Pi computer for about half that. But then you wouldn't get the games that teach you about electronics. Which is really the whole point of Piper. Maybe it would be a good idea if Piper offered their Piper Universe Minecraft mod as a separate download. If you know a kid that wants to learn about computers and electronics, then the Piper Computer Kit would make a cool gift. Back to you, Leo. <laughs> wow! Wow, I think we have a new star in our midst. <laughs> Good job, Zach. Thanks. That's awesome. Zach Bonney is uh, Karsten's uh, son. And you're, I saw you're a fan of Undertale. Yes. Yeah, that's your favorite yes. game? Yes. Yeah, same with, uh, same with Michael, our son. He, he was Sans for, uh, for Halloween. He got the mask and everything. From, that's Undertale, right? Sans? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny about Undertale is it's like an 8-bit old-fashioned game. It doesn't look any better than, you know, Pitfall did when on the Atari 2600, but you like that, huh? Mm -hmm. I think the kids are weird today. So, here it is. It's a little smaller than I might have thought if I watched it on the, yeah. on the website, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what else you can do with, uh, with this thing. So, well, you, you saw it has electronics projects. I see a little mm -hmm. diode on here and stuff. Right? Mm -hmm. There's little buttons that once you build they will help you in the adventure. Does it, oh, I see. So in order to do this software better, you have to actually build something physical. Yeah, you physical. have to, like, like, it teaches you how to build this, like, along with the game. So now, you're not new to computers. I mean, you've used computers for your whole life. But had you ever kind of looked inside a computer like this? Did this give you some better insight to how computers work? Yeah, a little. And, yeah, I think if for a kid who's never seen a computer, this is a really good opportunity. Right. Because then they can, like see from the very beginning and like not like when if you've got like a laptop you don't right. see anything from the inside right but if you have this you can like see it up close like it's right there were there any points in putting it together you kind of got stuck and you had to ask dad for help or no not really <laughs> dad, dad wouldn't have helped anyway no, right <laughs> <laughs> and you said your brother helped a little bit yeah he helped building the case which how old's your brother Nine. Nine. So he's you're twelve. He's nine, mm -hmm. but he's like the he's like the builder in the bunch. Yeah, he's the builder. Isn't that interesting? Why is why is he not here? Um, he didn't. He doesn't really like to be shy. on TV. He's yeah. Yeah. shy. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, he's he's definitely the the uh, carpenter of the family. So, but that's good because you were able to do this together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I think that's kind of neat. And he did part of it, and you did you did part yes. of it. Yeah. He also invited my neighbors over to come help. How did that work too. out? They just really just came in and like built a step, and then he built a step, oh, and that's they neat. built a step. And then... Wow! So this really became a community project. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Would you like to keep it? Well, if you guys want it back, that's perfectly fine with me. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what I would do. With it. So it, it closes up. Yeah. Is it okay to do this? Yeah, let me just put the mouse put, in. It's got a little tiny, tiny mouse that comes with it. And it closes up. So you could carry this around, bring it places, bring it to school maybe, stuff like that. Yeah. Do you think this would be good in a school? Um, a teacher actually bought this, uh, one of these for each of her students, 300, uh, $300 each for stu 30 students. Wow. And, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But you know, she a lot of schools have the funding to do that to like buy an iPad yeah. or, a, or a Chromebook. That's about the same price, yeah. right? right? But she was one of the only people who rated it four stars on Amazon. Uh huh. And most other people rated it five, so there's something saying well, she, that. Yeah, she learned a little bit of yeah. <laughs> about uh, the pitfalls involved. Um, what, what are some resources that you could use if you didn't want to spend $300? I mean, you can get a Raspberry Pi yeah. for 35 bucks, mm -hmm. right? Well, if you didn't want this entire, like, thing, I think that's pretty cool like, looking. Yeah, it, the case is really awesome in the yeah. screen, but yeah. if you didn't have that much money, because I know some people who don't, have like three hundred dollars just lying around, right? Um, but you could buy these books. And they that's help. Make Magazines yeah, getting Make started Magazine. with Raspberry Pi. Yeah. That's a really a good Pi book. Matt kids. Richardson, who wrote that, did the uh, Python programming book. And, and here from IDG, it's Raspberry Pi for kids. So there's a lot of materials out there. Actually, in a way, that's nice because if you wanted some more help with the Piper, mm -hmm. you could also get it. It's not like they're doing something completely proprietary. It's yeah. kind of a, a standard. It's the Raspberry Pi. Um, you think that was a good choice for this computer? Yeah, I think that the Raspberry Pi is good because if it was any other processing unit, it would probably cost a lot more. All right. And the screen is okay. It's not a touch screen. It's not a touch yeah, screen. Let me turn this a little bit so you can, folks at home can see it. It's a good looking screen, but it's, you know, it's like a tablet size yeah. screen. And the mouse works with that pretty well. So what is this Piper? Is this an educational game or is it Minecraft? Um, it's a Minecraft mod, basically. And Oh, I see. So it says story mode. That's Minecraft story mode. Creative uh, mode. Yeah. Okay. And basically there are like some stories. I haven't beaten them all because I got bored after a while. Ah. <laughs> that okay. Was, that's interesting. Yeah. Are you a Minecraft fan? I kind of. You kind of grew out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so let, me, let me ask you something. Now, these, these kits, the whole idea is to give you something that you have to build to get you involved in it so that you'll want to continue. Mm -hmm. So after having built this and, and grown a little bored with the, the Minecraft angle, is this something that you would feel comfortable now with, say, repurposing? Would you reprogram it and start to use the buttons and the breadboard to make something else? Oh, yeah. Um, it also, even if you can ex you just exit out of this. Now you're at Linux. It's and a Linux desktop. It's just the normal desktop. Yeah. De de yeah. I can't say it. <laughs> Des what? Desktop. Desktop. Yeah. yeah. And it's got the normal search. So there's, just as any Raspberry Pi or even nowadays Linux computer system, this has kind of the sky's the limit mm -hmm. as far as where you can go afterwards. The kit includes a battery. Is that what that is? Yep. The Raspberry Pi, is it a Raspberry Pi 3? Is it? Uh, uh, no, it's a 2. It's the 2. Oh, wait, no, it is a 3. It's it the latest Raspberry yeah. Pi. It has a mouse. It has looks like a little breadboard. In fact, you can do a joystick buttons, uh, controller buttons on here. Uh, are there other things you can do with this? Um, yeah, eventually, if I continued the story mode, there would be like, there's one other button slot. So oh, I that see. Might be something. So to continue the story mode, you have to actually build some yeah. physical things with the parts that come yeah. with the kit. Oh, that's kind of neat. I kind of mm -hmm. do. You feel like the story mode taught you anything about electronics? Yeah, a little. <laughs> a little. A, a little. little. All um. right. All right. On a scale of one to five, with five being the best, one being don't ever go near this. What, what do you think? I would think about a four. Pretty good. Yeah. Four stars out of five. Zach Bondi is a future genius, <laughs> Undertale aficionado, and our reviewer of the. Piper computer, uh, Raspberry Pi edition microcomputer kit. Is it Piper? It's playpiper.com. Playpiper.com. I thought it wasn't just Piper. Playpiper.com on the web, $2.99. There it is. Build your first real computer. I think for the right kid, uh, this could change your life. It could get you really excited. Zach already knew a lot about computers, yeah. yep. and so it was a little bit less interesting yeah. for you. Yeah. Do you think your brother might want it? Yeah. Any 
age from like seven to ten, this would probably be like really great for them. Okay, so you're a little too old for it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. A little. I kind of like but how it looks, though. I've actually really done some like actual coding before, and uh, like on Python and stuff, and this okay. is a lot easier. Yeah. Like a lot. Good way to get started mm -hmm. for somebody younger. It's like this is like the best way to get started. Nice. Like, What's your brother's name? Alex. Maybe Alex would like to play with this a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys it. keep it. I think you. I think okay. you should keep it. Uh, thank you so much, Zach and Karsten Bonnie. Chris Karsten is one of our producers. Produces all of my shows and uh, is an old friend from the days of Dev Null and the Screensavers. You ever heard of Dev Null? No. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we try to keep that hidden. <laughs>